Welcome, everyone, to Bindi and the Ink Machine in 2022. And yes, I know I'm super late when doing this recording because Bindi and the Ink Machine was first released in 2017 on Steam, and it had and it was released one chapter at a time until 2018. First off, as you can see, I've already played the game before. I'm just gonna continue from chapter one. I already have the scene tool ready to go in case if I would like to point out any uh, small little easter eggs. And then I'm playing the Switch version which was not released until I think it was fall of 2018 or it was fall of 2019. I can't remember. Now, it was fall of 2018 because I played Bindi in the Ink Machine, completed it, and then that following month, Smash Ultimate came out. All right, Joey. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. Whoa. Turn back. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, Boris, no. All right. Not even bother with that. I'm not going to bother with too much, uh, too many Easter eggs. Although this one here, not all dreams come true. That's a good Easter egg right there. Just going to speed run through every single chapter possible. And each chapter is going to be its own separate video. Uh, besides chapter three, that's going to be... This lift could use a few dry cells. I'd say chapter three is probably going to be either two or three separate videos because of the length of it. It just depends on how long it. Yeah. It just depends on how long it takes for me to finish chapter three. Ink machine there. Right there. And then we got the main power over here. Yep. Board. Alright, how do I get this to work? Yeah, I, I'm sorry guys if I don't feel like uh, being jumped that often when I'm playing this. It's the fact that I was feeling a bit nostalgic like maybe a week or two and I ended up playing this game again. Because the last time I had played this game beforehand was the beginning of 2021. Cut out. Who put this here? And then, oh yeah. My God, Joey, what were you doing? The beginning of 2021 was the last time that I played this game before a couple uh, last week or two weeks ago. Let's see, I grabbed the wrench. Uh, go back over here to the ink machine. There's a gear over here. Thank you. There's a book down this way. The illusion of living. Uh, hold up. Always on time. Yes, sir. That's me, IRL. Bruh. He will set. Wait, isn't there an East. Uh, there's an. Listening and always watching. Bending the Ink Machine song by Kyle Allen. He's listening and always... W See, that's the thing, like, with these uh, words right next to the radio, it's going to be referencing uh, the song that's on the radio, most likely. I think the only exception is possibly Chapter 4, when there's a radio in there. Hey, here's my old desk. I wasted so much time in this chair. Looks like they knocked out a wall or two after I left. Guess it took a few people to replace me. Yeah, like I said, Chapter 4 is the only exception to the lyrics hidden on the wall next to the radio. Because 
the radio you have to spawn uh, the radio in chapter four you have to spawn from one of those gent machines the same one where you have to get the gear for the pit to cross the gap small little easter egg you turn and the panel is supposed to change it's supposed to change bendy there you go see now you changed and no never mind and nope all right back to work uh what else I'm missing. I've got the inkwell, the record, book, gear, wrench. I feel like I'm missing the the plushie. Yeah, I'm missing the plushie. That's the only thing I'm missing, I think. And I'm not going to bother with that one. Okay, that's all of them. Yep. I love the little sound the plushie makes when you grab it. It's so cute. Audio log. At this point, I don't get what Joey's plan is for this company. The animation sure aren't being finished on time anymore. And I certainly don't see why we need this machine. It's noisy, messy, and who needs that much ink anyway? Also, get this. Joey had each one of us donate something from our workstation. We put them on these little pedestals in the break room to help appease the gods, Joey said. Keep things going. I think he's lost his mind, but hey, he writes the checks. But I tell you what, if one more of these pipes burst, I'm out of here. And there's Wally's famous line, I'm out of here. Sup? Bacon soup. And then next thing is to put these on the pedestals. Yeah, book, wrench, gear, inkwell, record, plushie. I just need to get the ink flowing somehow. Should be a switch around here somewhere. Then I can start up the main power. What well, I. The one thing I kind of don't like about the something in the game itself is when it comes to the radios, you can only play them once per chapter. I mean, obviously there's one radio in each chapter, but you can only play it once before the batteries die out for good. Peekaboo. Sup? I wish you were able to play the radios more than once in the chapters. Hey here, creepy crawly. Turn that, and that's the ink machine's main power, yep. There's a small little easter egg over here, though. Behind the Boris pit poster. What the heck is this? That is the Meatly. Devish, devilishly handsome. Sup? All right, let's go say hi to Bindi. Uh, wait a second. Oh, I forgot those were there. Shit. Well, that's not frightening at all. Hey.
Damn. I wanted to see if he was actually, like, full-blown chasing me that entire time. Yikes, Thomas, Jesus. Overreacting much? Creator lied to us, Joey lied to us. This will definitely come in handy. Why is it that all of these buttons we have Y to interact and A uh never mind, B to jump, L is to run, Z R is to attack, Z L is the uh scene tool. So, X, A, and R don't do shit. The fuck? And that's officially broken off. Aren't there supposed to be names on these or something? I must be... I must be wrong. Oh. 